Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel at Dexter Rolling Stone. Um, I hope you guys are all having a great day, and uh, I want to thank you in advance for hopefully watching. This week's video is um, a very serious one. Yes, it's hard, but the topic this week is violence. <sighs> and uh, more specifically about abuse which is a very serious topic. So, we have a very, very special guest today who will actually um, be calling in in the next um, few seconds, hopefully. Um, and if you live in New Orleans, you must be familiar either with him or his name. This guest, his name is Stanley Koloski. He did not want to come onto camera because he still is um, in the process of getting over, um, being an abuser, but he's not ready to totally, um, give a story live, but he said he'd be, um, fine doing it over the phone. So, I agreed to that, and because this week's video is about abuse, instead of me just talking and talking and talking, which I do for all the fun videos, um, because it's a little bit more serious, I think, um, for you guys and also for me, it would be great to hear from him and have a speaker. So, um, oh, perfect. He is calling. Hold on one second. Stanley? Hey, how are you? Good, good, good. So, I am actually, um, recording live right now. So, um, I'm gonna put you on speaker. And, um, I am super, super, super stoked, um, for you to speak. Um, and all my fans are also. So, um, yeah. The one putting the speaker. Yeah, it's here. Um, so, hey Stanley. So, um, once again, thank you so much for, um, doing this and agreeing to do this. Um, so first, I want to know if you could just tell me a little bit about your story of, um, abuse or what you have dealt with um, can, uh, pertaining to abuse, please. And, and whenever I say this, I always turn around and it's hard for me to say. And I um, want to say it out because it's been a few years and it's time I speak it out. I have abused my wife, Stella, and also her sister, uh, who's my sister-in-law, Blanche. I have been the abuser and abused them and um, put people through a hard time, yes. Okay, so um, thank you for that. Um, so you spoke about um, abusing Stella and um, also Blanche. So um, could you just talk about each experience? One time it was I was playing poker with my good friends and uh, I got really mad at something she said and uh, all my anger built up and I uh, hit her and um, my friends, they tried to stop me uh, but got crazy and I hit her and uh, then she ran out with her sister-in-law Blanche to the upstairs neighbor and I was drunk and finally when I realized what I did I uh, went out and yelled STELLA because um, I wanted her back, I, I didn't mean what I did and Blanche I only abused one time when we were home alone and uh, I, I don't even know. The moment it like felt right and she was pretty and I, I don't Okay, so thank you for that. Um, so could you just reiterate a little bit about um, maybe what you think led you to be an abuser? Well, definitely the... Drunkness when I'm drunk, I like to drink a lot. <laughs> kind of funny, but uh, yeah. Um, also, I come from a different place than Stella and Blanche. I grew up in a different place, and I feel as if I'm the man, I'm the power, I'm in charge. And when I don't get my way, all part of my anger part, when I don't get my way, I get mad. And it's a man's world. Well, um, I know we spoke about it, and I'll uh, catch my fans up about it, but I know that you said that when you abused Blanche, um, 
that you um, actually felt that in a way you might have caused to uh, caused her I'm sorry caused her to um, sort of go crazy and uh, you said she was already a little bit crazy <clears throat> coming into your house but do you think that she um, was super crazy or became even more crazier because of you and your abuse she is a insane woman I'm telling you she came into my house and she was insane and crazy. Stella never told me that she was coming. So I just came home one day from the bowling and found her at my house. And that, I think, um, threw me off to begin with. But um, she just was crazy. She wasn't my type. And uh, right from the time I found out that... Uh, she really was lying and put on an illusion of herself and she didn't show her real self, it wasn't reality. And uh, I, don't, I don't like that, I don't like the fake people. Um, but I do definitely think that uh, I persuade Stella to get her out. And that uh, changed Stella's mindset of her and her sister. And uh, yeah, I think definitely I was a cause of that, but I think also, for sure, for sure, that uh, the abuse, especially with everything that she went through with her uh, husband who shot himself because he was gay, and um, then with the schoolboy, she had a little affair, and then trying to make uh, love with Mitch, and I told Mitch all her secrets and revealed her true self to Mitch, which really wasn't the right thing to do. and. I um, think for sure that I contributed to her abuse and her craziness and um, I, I just really, I feel bad and uh, I just pushed her out. I got her a ticket to go away and I was the one who caused her to leave. Interesting. Um, and just one last quick question. Um, either for anyone um, in the fans, uh, who are my fans watching right now, um, or just anyone who comes upon this video um, in the future, um, what do you suggest that uh, what they should take away from this video? Or um, if someone's in a relationship where there is abuse, what, what do you suggest for them? And if you're watching this and you're an abuser, stop. I know that um, most people probably will laugh at me, but you're really hurting someone else and it's not fair. You don't want to be overruling and overtaking people and it's very hard. But stop. There's many councils out there and people to help you. And if you're an abuser, it's really sick and, and you need help. Um, and if you're not going to listen to me, who's been through this and has had a traumatic change in their life and seeing how it affects others, then I don't know who else you can listen to. Everybody knows my story, really, in the, the New Orleans where I live, and you hear from this video, and if you're not going to listen to me again, I really hope you listen to someone else. If you're being abused, you need help. I'm sorry, and uh, I know what my wife and Blanche went through. And um, it's not fair what I did to them. And uh, they're gonna live with it forever. It's God. When you experience it, you live with it forever. And um, talk to others about it. Get help. Let someone else come in the situation and help. And um, if you haven't experienced this, show sympathy for others and learn about this and tell others about this and watch other videos and know it's a big thing in the world. Educate yourself about it, for sure. I really appreciate you um, coming and helping um, my video for this week, and um, my fans are also, so thank you so much. And uh, I will speak to you. Bye. Um, so yeah, so that was Stanley. Um, I really hope that this video um, made an impact or even if it really like didn't mean much to you, um, you at least uh, realize that this is something that um, does happen in the world, 
it does unfortunately happen to um, really anyone, um, whether it's in relationships or uh, family, um, and it's really, really hard. Um, for anyone in a situation like that, it's very sticky, very sticky situation. Um, but thank you guys so much for uh, watching, and um, I hope to see you next week. Have a great week. Bye, guys. Thank you.